Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video I'm going to show you how to set the Windows 11 taskbar to never combine or how to ungroup the Windows 11 icons. As you all know this was a feature that we had in Windows 7, in Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 but in Windows 11 Microsoft decided to remove this feature and hopefully they will somehow bring it back in the future but until then the only option that we have to set the taskbar icons to never combine would be to use a third party software. In this video we're going to use Start 11 and I'm going to show you how to use the software and what settings you need in order to have that option. Before talking about anything, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Tenorshare for DDIG Windows Data Recovery. This is an all-in-one solution to perform data recovery and repair for all scenarios including recovering data from laptops or PCs, internal or external drives, USB, SD cards with over a thousand file types supported. You can easily recover files lost due to an accidental deletion, formatting, lost partition, corruption, crashed system, virus attack, and so on. To recover files, simply install the software, select the location location where you want to scan and select the file types that you are looking for. After the scan is finished, select your lost or deleted files and then click on recover. Download Tenorshare for DIG Windows Data Recovery from the links in the description today and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. So as you all know, Star 11 is a software developed by Stardock, which can be used to customize the Windows 11 Explorer, the start menu, the taskbar, and so on. But lately, they are testing out a 1.2 beta version of Star 11 that also includes this option. Pay attention that the software is commercial, so you can only use it for a 30-day free trial in order to test it out. And if you like it and you think that you cannot live without the software, you can buy a license for $6.99 for a single install, if I'm not mistaken so that's not such a big price. Also, the video is not sponsored by Stardock Short 11, so I'm just showing you how to set up the program and do the settings, just like a simple user as we all are. So to download the beta version 1.2 Start 11, you're going to need to access the download link that you'll find in the article down below in the description. Just go and click on that link and you'll get to the forums.stardock.com website. Click on this link to download the setup and then make sure to run the setup to start the installation process on user account control click on yes select i agree to the terms of this license agreement then click on next next again and the installation process will start and the program will automatically start up by itself this is how the program looks just make sure to click on start 30 day trial enter your email click on continue verify your email and the trial should be successfully activated after you activate the trial you will receive this message you can click on no right now and you can select whatever you want the taskbar to be configured as just click on OK and then you should be good to go. Let me show you now what settings you need. First of all, I recommend you select the Windows 11 style in the start menu section because we want to have the start menu from Windows 11. We don't have any other style. Basically, only thing that we want from the start 11 app is to set the taskbar to never combine or ungrouping the icons. Then what we need to do is to go in the left side in the taskbar section and make sure to enable let's start 11 enhance the taskbar. Turn this on. The app should close out by itself and then right click on the taskbar and then click on configure start 11 to open the app again go again in the taskbar section and you're going to have this new section taskbar buttons should be combined and you have here always sometimes never you can click on never to set this to never combine and you're going to have this really nice design that we had on windows 10 windows 7 as you can see and if we open multiple apps we have the never combine design which looks pretty good keeping in mind that this is a third party app we also have more start 11 taskbar settings if we click on it we have here additional settings so for example allow the taskbar to be resized we can resize the taskbar as you can see if you want to do that you also have horizontally center the taskbar buttons as you see this will only center the taskbar icons that you've pinned it won't center the default icons from windows and also the start menu and also you have the vertical center of the taskbar buttons if you're using this option to resize the taskbar which is actually pretty good but I like the taskbar as it is in Windows 11. So this looks pretty good. You can try and open up multiple apps to see how this works, but I think it works pretty good for a third-party app. As I've said, just try out and open multiple apps for yourself to test out how this never combine option works. It works pretty, pretty good. Of course, it is a little bit buggy because we are still in the beta state of Start 11, but I think that this is really, really good. So these are basically all the settings that you need to do in order to get this effect. As I've said, 
that you're gonna have the download link to this beta and trial version in the article down below in the description. So go ahead and try out for yourself Start 11. One thing that I should advise you is don't try to use Start 11, especially this beta version on the dev builds of Windows 11, because you could get a lot more bugs there as Microsoft is constantly updating the taskbar and settings week by week. So there you could receive a lot more bugs as opposed to the main release or the release preview channel, which I am now on. So I think that uh, Start 11, the guys from Stardock are doing a great job. And this is a really nice effect that hopefully Microsoft will consider having it back by default in Windows 11 because a lot of users have asked for it. And even I was using this never combine option in Windows 10. And it's pretty sad for me to not be able to use it in Windows 11. But thankfully, we have apps like Start 11 that can help us get this effect. As I've said, hopefully Microsoft will get this back in Windows 11 someday, hopefully soon. So this was the video for today. As I've said, the download link to this app will be in the article down below in the description. Don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel if you enjoy videos like these. Always Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.